Yeah, right, Rudy? Sir. Rudy Ruiz is going to bring it on up. Your fans are here, Rudy. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. I've been driving for like a hell of a long way to get out. All right. Uh, recently, I joined the Kettlebell Gym. Uh, I actually joined, I actually had a three year membership, and I went for about a uh, week. And uh, uh, my friend who was a personal trainer, he's a little pissed off me right now. Uh, the last time I went, I was actually, you know, I'm a big fan of brunettes. And I'm using them now. <laughs> and um, I went there, I was standing next to her. I don't know if anybody knows what a kettlebell is. It's, it actually looks like a bowling ball. And it has an upside down handle, it's like a triangle at the top one of the teletype section. And uh, one of the exercises is called the snatch. <laughs> That's the name of the exercise. It's called snatch. And you keep your feet in about shoulders width. And the way you do this exercise is you grab the kettlebell from the bottom. That's what this way the exercise goes. You grab the kettlebell from the bottom and you hoist it in the air and you gotta squeeze your ass cheeks. Because those are the glutes. Well the lady next to me, as we got into this the exercise, it got real intense. And she started doing that. Sounds. Um, it wasn't like a frustrating like moan or like a you know like exhale. She was actually like a uh, <laughs> that's what she said. And it was actually coincidentally when I would thrust my hips forward to do the kettlebell. So it was more like a uh, every time I thrust my hips forward. So I started getting thoughts. You know, I started hearing the moaning, got the intense activity going, and this is how they would do it. I was like, oh. well, you know, I'm excited there. So, you know, I don't know if you're know aware, but men get these things called chubs. And keep out of chubs. All right. So, what went up happening, the head instructor said, all right, well, it's time to do a two minute break. Go to the bathroom, take some water. So, I had to go and have a conversation. I look, man, check it out. I understand. People are excited. The long set, wearing very cheap sweatpants with little notes. You know, everyone just swinging that kettlebell for some months. Alright? <laughs> but needless to say, you know, that was my experience with the kettlebell gym. You know, and it did go. It went alright, you know, but considering the lady, you know, when she wasn't making them sounds, I wouldn't get a little excited, and that wouldn't happen. <laughs> but ladies like it. I know ladies like it. Ladies like it. They like all that. You like the kinky stuff. You know, you get aroused and everything, just like everybody else does. You're real gangster about it, but you like to keep it really like, down low. <laughs> you know, I'm about but, uh, uh, speaking of that, I read an article a couple weeks ago, and this lady was actually working at a, at a morgue, and part of her job was to wash the corpses, to get ready for the, the autopsy. And as she's washing the corpse, you know, I don't know if you knew this, but male corpses can actually achieve post-mortem erections. And I, I don't know. You can, you can Google it. It actually, it actually wow. happens. Well, anyway, she was sitting there and, you know, watching the corpse and everything, and she got to the southern region. She got, you know, something. As she was watching it, you know, she listened to her, you know, iPod or thing, you know, nah, nah. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, what's her name? And so you know she, you know, felt no something. Well, considering, you know, she didn't have anybody in the else room with her, she actually mounted the corpse. And she did what she did. And what wound up happening is, you know, she got no she was in and washed up everything. Well, a couple weeks later, she started getting sick. Perfectly the morning. So when she goes to the doctor, and the doctor tells you, well, pregnant. <laughs> and I swear to God, you can Google this story up. It's, on, it's out on Google somewhere. She said, you know what, you're well, serious? And the doctor's like, well, obviously it's not a kind of pregnancy. Yeah, you shit. You know? <laughs> so, you know, she tells him what she did. And the doctor like, sits there like, you know, you just committed a crime. This is necrophilia. You know, so you know they got the authorities. I don't know what happened with the legal aspect of that, but here's the kicker: she's actually suing the dead man's estate for child support. She's 
said, yes, that'd be soon. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. Because it's sick and twisted people out there. Wow. They're doing this sick and twisted stuff with horses. I mean, if you gotta, you know, I mean, you know, you gotta go through a really bad drought. If you're gonna sit there and ain't nobody around, like, man, nobody's here. You know, and <laughs> that's very, very sick and twisted. I don't know what these people are doing. I mean, I've been through a drought. So go do that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. That's all I got for you. Woody Rudd, first time off. Get back here for me.